Object-oriented programming is a coding paradigm which relies on classes and objects. And classes are simply variable types with attributes and properties. These attributes of a class are variables and the properties are methods. In this section, we shall look at classes and objects, operator overloading, method types, inheritance, encapsulation, and polymorphism. Suppose we want to design a program which produces smileys based on some inputs. We could define a smiley framework like this one. And the way we define such a framework is by defining a class. So we could have a class smiley with attributes like a smile. So let's do this. We have an attribute like a smile, which is set to true. We have an attribute like face color, face color, which is set to white. An attribute like eye color, which is set to white. This is actually a string, so we set that to white. White. And then this class could have several properties or methods. Like for example, the set smile method. So since the meta we have the dev set smile return for now none. We could define the set face color return none. We have the set eye color return none. And there we go, we have our smiley class. So there we go, we have the smiley class which we've defined. But actually this class is just a framework and to put it to life, we need to make use of an object which is an instance of this framework or some sort of version of this framework. So coming back to the slide, as you can see, we have this frame here. We could create an object or an instance of this frame with face color orange, eye color blue, and then is smile. That is, the is smile is true, since as you could see here, smiling. We could also create another object instance wherein the face is light blue, the eye color is red, and then we also have this other object instance where its smile is false, eye color white, and then face color black. So from this example, we see how based on this frame, we are able to generate different smileys and this different versions or instances of this frame or class is what we call the object. So now let's see how we create a simple object. We could say smiley or let's say happy. With that, we have the smiley and then we do a happy dot is smile. Run that. We have an error here, obviously, because this is smile isn't a function, but just an attribute. So take this off, run that. We see we have happy is smile. Now let's create another object. We have the object sad smiley. You see sad dot is smile. Run again. We see it's still true. Now we want to make mm, do this or modify this object such that we have this is smile to be false. Now to do this, we could now make use of the set smile functions. So let's go ahead and modify this. We're taking the smile or let's say current smile or let's say smile status, smile status, and then we return still known. But what the difference is that what we're doing is we're setting is smile to be false. 
or rather it smile is the smile status not actually false so it smile is a smile status so we want to change this attribute of the class to become now what we put in here so set smile now gets in here or set smile takes in the smile status and then modifies the is smile and then from this now we shall see what we get after passing through the set smile function so run this obviously yes true but once we define this we say set dot set smile and then we say false run again and we see that we have an error now this error reads that the set smile takes one positional argument but two were given okay before looking at this let's um do some recap we have defined this object that is we have defined this version of the smiley class which is sad previously we had defined this other version happy of the smiley class and then here we are like calling on this set smile function which is or the set smile method which is part of the smiley class so what we do is we have set dot set smile and then we pass in the smile status which is false obviously if we set then the smile status should be false so is smile should be false now once we pass this we are now ready to call again on is smile to be sure that it's actually false but then we have in this error now having this error is very normal and we shall see how to solve this problem or how to correct this error the way we correct this error is by giving each object some sort of identity in this class so what we're gonna do now is instead of just defining these methods in the class as if all the objects behave the same we are gonna give it an identity so we have we define the self right here and then in here we have self self and for this year we have self 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 this self is actually a keyword used in python in other programming languages like java you have this now coming back to this we've redefined our attributes and then we've added one extra argument in all our functions now the reason why we're doing this is because we want to give this class or rather to give each object created based on this class an identity which is going to be different from this other one right here so this means that whenever we create this or if we create an object say happy from this class it's going to have a different identity from this other one by identity we mean it's going to have a different way of working with this functions or methods and also the attributes are going to be different and this is done simply by using this self now that said let's run this we see that we have another error we told that the self is not defined now the way we solve this is by including a constructor so instead of having to put this attribute out the way we've just done we are going to define a constructor and a constructor is just a special type of method see here we have this init method and this init method is what we call the constructor note that you cannot say for example you cannot do this you're gonna just define any like this and then expect it to work so this init has to have two double underscores before and then two underscores after so double before and then double after once we have this now it's in this constructor that would define this attributes for the class or actually this object attributes so now let's run again you see that everything works fine now and that's simply because this attribute or rather this class has been defined such that we could now for every object define its own attributes there's an error here but we shall skip this like we should just run this for now so let's run again we see we have this error and take note we must also have the self that's passed in the init so let's run again and there we go it works fine now so 
Previously, this is smile belonged to the class smiley, but now this is smile is actually the is smile for this happy object. And the way we did this was by using the self and then by including a constructor. So we've run that, that's fine. Now let's come back to this, run this, and there we go. We see that. This time around, the code works fine, but we are having a true instead of a false. So what do we do to solve this problem? The simple way we could solve this problem is by, instead of saying is smile as if this is smile belonged to the class, we have self dot is smile so that Python knows that this is smile is actually the attribute for this sad object so let's run again and there we go everything works fine now we have this as false so sad dot is smile is false and happy dot is smile is true we could go ahead and modify this again let's suppose we want to do this in a way that on defining the smile we just say for example we say the we we'll pass in the, the status that's the is smile status we we'll pass in the is smile status and then instead of having this we we'll take this off run this see we have an error because normally the way the constructor has been defined we have our uh, we are not meant to pass in any value right here so what we we'll do is we're gonna have this here we'll say is smile so by default we'll set it to true by default it's true so now here we have the is smile okay let's run this again and there we go we see that without having to explicitly call on the set smile method we already have the set turn to false or the is smile for set turn to false let's take this off so you see that it works so that's it so we see that sad or is smile is false because of the way sad was defined and that's the role of this init function here which is actually a constructor so we are constructing this object based on this class by already defining our smile in such a way that it is true in the case where we have for example this happy by default here since we don't pass anything by default it's true and then when we want it to be false we have just to specify that we want it to be false now the next step will be to take this and say okay face color we repeat for the face color we set it to default white we do the same for the eye color we set it to default white that's it so that we, there we go we have the face color here we have the face color run this everything is fine let's now set this face color to say orange orange and then we have sad dot no let's put it to black we have black in the slide let's say black sad dot um face color so we run that there we go so we see that now our sad is we could let's take this off print that simply print this run again okay so now we have false black and then we could also obviously include the eye color eye color no our eye color is white so we could just take this we'll leave let that so let's print out now the eye color sad that eye color actually sad that eye color run it there we go we have the face color black eye color black and then the sm is smiles false so this isn't a, a smile and smiley 